What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're for episode 22 of our Carolina Panthers Madden 23 franchise mode. We are back four days after the hurricane with no power. Oh, it's good to be back. I got some, I got a little intro we're gonna talk about here. But today's video, we are going to be hosting our bitter divisional rival, the New Orleans Saints at home, looking for our third victory of the season off the back of a week three victory where we absolutely owned Aaron Rodgers. But before that, I had some time to think during this hurricane. I want to talk about this. You, I'll timestamp this. You can skip. It's got to be a little intro, a little explanation of what's going on. I know a lot of you guys right now, if you are watching, you live in Florida, you guys are going through your own hurricane, uh, stay safe. Hopefully, I can distract you a little bit here in today's video. And I uh, hope everyone down there uh, is back on their feet sooner than later. But during those four days, I sat down, pen and paper, got some ideas for pink slips, got some ideas for this Panthers franchise which will be pretty fun. But I also got to look back through all my old content, trying to see like, what can I bring to the channel? And a series that I never really tried focusing on were my NCAA revamped rebuilds. You guys, the data backed up, you guys absolutely loved them. I just recorded them when I wanted to and put them up as a video. It wasn't something that I made a series. And you know, being in the heart of college football season right now, I wanna have college football content on the channel. It feels like a perfect time to bring that up. So on Saturday, we will have a new NCAA rebuild dropping back on the channel and i'm going to do a little bit of a different twist this year all the blue bud schools all the you know florida michigan's like the the you know obviously alabama's ohio states you don't really need rebels but the bigger schools with notable players and even if you're just a call casual college football fan you're going to know those guys those are fun rebuilds but also there was an issue of like when you want to really rebuild like a cupcake school if i want to do kent state toledo or anything like that there's always, there's always been like a little bit of an element of like, all right, you guys don't know any of these players on these teams. It, it's a little bit harder to identify and, and click on those videos when you don't know the players as much as say, I was like, oh, here's an Anthony Richardson Florida rebuild or, you know, here's a Bryce Young Alabama rebuild. You're going to know those guys. So what I'm going to do is for those smaller schools, we're going to add a transfer portal element to hopefully attract some big name players to the rebuild immediately. I think that will be pretty fun, but uh, there will be a new one out on Saturday. The reason why we say that, which goes into, oh, C4, you're already, you know, looking at NCAA content. You're getting burnt out of Madden 23, bud. I can say this. Well, I haven't officially dropped like a Madden 23 review. I haven't stuck a number grade on it. I've had the most fun when this game works with Madden in years. It literally, this has been the least job-like work grind feeling in a Madden in at least three Maddens. When it works, the gameplay, it's fun. I'm having a good time. But there is currently severe anxiety as it relates to franchise mode because there's like, it feels like every day there's like a new game breaking glitch and or a bug that could just completely crash your franchise mode. The big one, obviously, is when you get through the off season, you get that draft glitch, which is somewhat common, and you're done. It's gone. You lose all of your work. And I, the thing about that happening in my Panther series or pink slips right now is it's, it's worrisome. I don't know. Like when I go to bed, if the next day it's gonna load up like imagine if that was an ultimate team you know no money spent grinders putting hours in you got people that have spent money and then just someday you you know you get a disconnect error from the servers and you go to load back your mutt team and it's gone you know like that's what's going on right now in franchise but it's really bad so the october title update will be coming i mean i know uh mad and devs and all that stuff are in florida so maybe it's good to get delayed a little bit because of the hurricane which rightfully so nothing you can do about that but I need the Panthers and Pink Slips to not hit the offseason until we at least see what's coming in that October patch, which almost certainly should have something, right, that addresses this, this crashing in franchise mode, this infinite loop of, like, you're done, you gotta restart, you gotta delete, there's no saving it. So that is why I want to sprinkle in more content that is not just Panthers and Pink Slips, so that hopefully we can kind of draw it out a little bit a little bit more of a slow burn for this content and hopefully that october update fixes it and then we can go full bore back with these series so ncw will be coming back got some other things some other ideas that can be coming in but it is prim primarily being done so that we don't run into the off season until at least the october title update so we have week four here for the carolina panthers and i mean we are we're vibing i mean you have matt corral who has He's not necessarily light the league on fire by any means. Three touchdowns, five picks, 73. But, you know, he's kind of playing like Baker Mayfield, which I assume is not a terrible thing to say about him because we made the playoffs with Baker Mayfield. Uh, we're running the ball fairly well, averaging 91 yards. You know, between you know Chuba and CMC, we, we have a healthy rushing attack. Uh, on the receiving end, DJ Moore's been popping off. You know, we've had some guys that st stepped up a little bit. 
Defense is still doing defensive things. Roquan Smith making plays all over the field. Brian Burns getting after the quarterback. J.C. Horn and that Bermuda Triangle we have back there in the second day. They are doing their job. But we have New Orleans. And New Orleans is always an interesting team because they can throw the ball. If, if there's a team that's going to play a lot better than what their quarterback under center is, it's going to be New Orleans. And they have Alvin Kamara, who can make you look absolutely foolish. we got to figure it out. Well, we have a quarterback check in here. With Matt Corral, three touchdowns, five interceptions. It's it's not it's not the best. So we're approaching the end of the first quarter of the season. What do you need out of Matt Corral? I I, I think honestly, I don't I don't want to put too much pressure for him to carry the team. He's a first year starter. Those would be ridiculous goals for for us to really set for him, especially when you have Christian McCaffrey and stuff like that. That is our bread and butter. So we're gonna go with a little bit less pressure of a, a response there. We need to beat the Saints and score four plus offensive touchdowns for some reason. I mean, I don't know how that question yields that challenge, but we will try our best to, to do so. Let's take a look here at what the Saints have done so far this season. Offensively, you know, they've actually not been that hot. 15th in passing yards. And you know when you see the passing yards, Alva Kamara is going to be a big part of that. Michael Thomas is there. Chris Olavi is there. I think for us, we're going to take away the short passing. Jameis Winston, really comfortable throws, 89%. Uh, QB rating or whatever you want to call it, 89 QB rating on the short pass. So we're going to prioritize that over the run. Defensively, they are a top five passing defense. They are not particularly good stopping the run, which is bad. You do not want to be you do not want to be seeing that for our squad. We're going to go run inside. We're going to go through training. Hopefully, a fully healthy training session. Hopefully, we get a couple players that absolutely pop off, and we are going to be able to go into this one full strength looking to get a big time divisional victory here early in the season offensively we are fully healthy defensively we are fully healthy it is time practice we had an upgrade for our first round pick franklin Lindsay. we have a couple options speed rusher is the scheme i don't hate that i mean we're not going to get the immediate overall you know jumps that we want but i, I it's kind of cool having like a, a speed rusher d tackle like what you know what like what build what are we chasing like a warren sap type Warren Sapp used to always have like ridiculous finesse moves. But the one thing we learned, at least that we could take away from that week three victory, is uh, you know, obviously we're not wearing the threads right now, but there's you know, a change had to be made. I we made a change on the defensive side of the ball. I'm not pr super proud because it's it's something that kind of counteracts one of our big free agency signings, but this team straight up played better. When Keith Taylor was on the field. We made that audible change. Chauncey Gardner Johnson hasn't been super hot, super fire. I think we have an opportunity here to maybe get a little bit creative with the defense. It could be fool's gold. It could have just been last week making the in-game adjustment of putting Keith Taylor on the field. Completely threw off Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is fearful of Keith Taylor. He sees 28 back there. He knows he doesn't want to be throwing the football as much. But, I mean, if Keith Taylor, who we kind of kept on with the idea that if we pick up some injuries, he is that chess piece, the chameleon that can go play wherever. But, I mean, he can, you know, bread and butter. Since he added that speed element to his game of, of 98 speed, really, you know, trying to fill in that Quez Watkins speed role, he, he's, you know, he might be able to earn that free safety job. And if he do, does so, it's not the end of the world with Chauncey Gator Johnson. Chauncey Gator Johnson played linebacker at Florida. We could we could potentially look at moving maybe Chauncey Gator Johnson to the linebacking role. That is what we're going to find out here today as it relates to to our roster does this team play better with keith taylor out there or was last week a little bit fool's gold we gotta be smart we gotta think about it and let's have our 84 star to have big money free safety start it was just a bad game we're gonna find that out today and if keith taylor earns that job i think we're gonna have to explore other options to get and maximize johnson Gardner johnson because like i mean honestly even if it's like keith taylor's just solid johnson Gardner johnson through three games is really the only big money guy that we signed just doesn't make plays he's the kind of guy it's like all right he makes tackles after the guys already made a big big play you know what i'm saying like there hasn't been one touchdown saving tackle from Travis Garrett johnson one touchdown saving pass breakup no interceptions no pressure i almost feel like from the standpoint of not just getting keith taylor on the field but maybe free safety is not how we can maximize Travis Garrett johnson in this defense so we're gonna figure that out here today against new orleans saints but before we get into the matchup i do need to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor today's video is sponsored by manscape who is the best in men's below the waist grooming their products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels 
Manscaped's performance package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with promo code C420 at manscaped.com. The performance package 4.0 has arrived and it's an absolute game changer. Inside this package, you get the Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer. And I'm just going to say right now, before we even break into it, this thing's absolutely awesome. Someone that's been all about ball maintenance going back to high school, this thing, it's not super loud. And that light, we'll get to that, that light, absolute game changer than anything that I've used before. You Also, in the performance package, you get the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. You get the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. You get the Crop Reviver Toner. I could go on for hours about ball toner. You get Performance Boxer Briefs, which I'll show you, but I'm wearing that right now. It's not one of those type of sponsorships. And you also get a travel bag to hold all of your goodies. But the Lawn Mower 4.0, man, this is the bell of the ball from the Performance Package 4.0. It's a fourth generation trimmer and it features cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is waterproof and also has the spotlight. That is my favorite thing. So you can see what's going on down there. You can make the cleanest cut. Because I'm telling you right now, you go down below the waist. If you shave it, they will come. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. It's also waterproof and provides proprietary skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs against those delicate holes of yours. I'll tell you, man, not a whole lot of sponsors firmly believe in their product. They made it. They're like, do not read this ad until you get your hands on our product and use it for yourself. And I, I genuinely can say, I've heard about Manscaped, first time trying it, and if you are, like myself, an advocate, and you want to protect these so that bad things don't happen, especially, I, I don't know about you guys, but personally, a lot of times when we're in this in this type of distance, down in distance, if you will, you know, it's Hail Mary time. It's like, it's not a convenient time. You need to, you need to find a way to punch it into the end zone because time is short. Time is of the essence. You got two minute drive. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, sometimes it could be a little bit rushed and this is an absolute game changer to the routine, fellas. I cannot stress it enough. And right now, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code C420 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code C420. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Look, Carolina in my city, I'm my chick it in Wakanda, wear a panther on my chest, badge your honor. Hitting 150 on the dash, burns rubber when you pass, in a swim move, get us the Bahamas. How they gonna talk like a MC, see me, I see him, see him, hit a side step and I'm a goner. One, two, three quarters down in the C4 sound, cause the chip coming back to Carolina. And they be like, calling it a fluke when we went to 50, we back now. Keep Leon Let's go, man. This is my favorite uniform comment. I actually saw something cool. I had a video get claimed because I put a clip in. Vita Vea was on Bustin' with the boys, and they asked him about his favorite jersey combos. And, you know, he's, I think he's like Seattle's Booger Green was the top. But he had the Carolina All Blacks. And he said the reason why he likes that is because there was a story behind them. That uh, I think, I can't remember who it was, a former player of the Panthers. You wear the blacks because when the other team comes, you're wearing it because it's their funeral. And like he loved, and like you know, ever since I heard that, I was like, you know what? Like we have a home divisional game. We are gonna be, we're gonna be wearing the all blacks. Like that's intimidation factor plus a thousand right there. We have not had our best games against the ones. It needs to be said, especially going against their defense. But look at that right there, Visca Chanel, great throw, great read, first down. But I have nightmares about Demary Davis. I feel like every time we play, the Demary Davis has like three turnovers. We go Visca. Right, look at that, man. Powerhouse. I mean, it seemed in real life, Visca, like he's been like a healthy scratch since he, he got acquired there from the Jags. Plays his first game with the Panthers in real life. Has like a highlight real play. Get this guy involved. It's not just a Madden thing. Go good block up the middle. Long, grindy drive. We'll take that. Could be in four down territory if we don't get this. You know that weird, like, do we punt it? Do we just go for it? Let's go DJ Moore at the sticks. Don't worry about it. Got ourselves a third and 11. I don't know if we have a shot play here. We'll just try our best. Hope and pray we can get something right across. Them. 
We had Y. Man, that's where I was going. DJ Moore, we had him open. O-line couldn't hold up long enough for that play to develop. Damn Saints defense, man. I hate it. Like, my least favorite thing. Like, we play the Bucks twice a year, the Saints twice a year, Falcons twice a year. I hate the Saints game the most. Even though they're not as good of a team as Tampa, they're the most annoying to play against. Good go, man. That's how you not let Alvin Kamara take this one over. What the fuck? Why is all my guys slow? Fuck me, man. As soon as I switched to Roquan there, I felt like I got slower. Got hit with like a minus five speed. I'm gonna look at this. Like, watch. Let's see if we can notice. Look at Roquan. It's just tackling the air. What was that angle? Now, I haven't played Madden in about a week, but still, no excuses. Yes. Key. Go. Let's go. You got a shit. You got a little Mar shits. Get him out there. Put him in the blue tent. Get him back. He's fine. Man, they've just, I mean, I don't blame them, man. They've had a healthy dose of Alvin Kamara. It's been working for them. But I think for us, it's only a matter of time until Jameis Winston throws something at JC Horn and we're going to make them regret doing so. Third and 10 on the 21. Clearly a passing situation. We got Roquan. Let's see it. Oh, Brian Burns is back. His ribs are feeling better than other. Gets the sack. And we hold him to a field goal attempt. Great job, defense. That man, that all black. Get out of here, Alvin Kamara. I don't think so. Here we go. CMC. Midfield. Here we go. DJ Moore in the slot. Again, that's my priority. I hate to say I have a priority throwing the football. That's how you usually get interceptions. But I just, I you know, I always just, you always look running back, tight end. I you got DJ Moore in the slot. That needs to be our first read more often than not. Like DJ Moore, kind of guy, should have 100 catches when all is said and done this season. We go third and inches, making some guys miss. Drive continues. Grueling drive. This Saints defense got to be exhausted by now. Second and goal. I almost think we have that. We have the Texas route option for CMC. I'm going to be... Maybe we can get back to DJ Moore here. Oh. He makes the guy miss, and he is in DJ Moore. He knows he needs a big season. I mean, he lost his dev trade last year. That's how much he underperformed. He wants to get that back. It just, you know, that's just something we don't get. We haven't had in this series is broken tackles. Forced broken tackles. And DJ Moore said, I'll, you know, I'm going to start hooking you up. I need this touchdown. And the Panthers. Kind of an ass whooping so far. Oh, come on, man. Where's Keith? This is where you need Keith to clean it up. Man, Kamara is wrecking us. Oh, my God. Everything's like a 10-yard game. Just, yeah, blew the gap assignment there. All right. Well, we know we're going to make for a halftime adjustment. All about stopping the run. Ooh. This gets blocked. There's not a lot of guys. That side of the field, this gets blocked up well. Of course it doesn't. Of course it does. There's two guys there. Can't get a helmet on either one of them. All right, we'll go Verts. Some relatively fairly high percentage throws. We're going to need Corral to make a play here. Or just DJ Moore continues to go off. 
try it. Don't hate that shot, man. I, I think Visky should have came down with that. That was a good ball, where it needed to be. Oh, that's just, that was a shitty ball. That was always, a, that was always a PBU. Oh no, the revolving door. Taylor Moten picks up an injury. Should have went X. Had X. Had X. Didn't think about it. Thought about it, didn't think about it enough. It's a good stand. 59 yards. Oh, we got a chance to get some points here. 59. What's the win? Six win. We can do this. Gonzalez got a lag on him. Perfect. And we got a touchdown buffer. Great kick. Mine. It's only a matter of time. It's Jameis Winston. You know? It's Jay, like in real life. If the Saints keep sticking with Jameis Winston, Philly's got to get a top five pick. Okay? Probably got to go to Dalton. Pick six, C.J. Henderson. Go Gators. Mine. <laughs> Let's go. Jameis Winston masterclass. What did he just run the ball out? Just, what are we doing here? And they're still going empty back. Okay. Your running back averages 10 yards a carry and you're here slinging it with a scrub. Ah, I mean, they got the field goal range, whatever. Three points of the, thanks for spotting us 14. Here's your three for nickel and diamond your way downfield. I don't even get, I was deflected. It was let's go I right, really actually need to look at this uh, you know our, our, our boost here we're gonna let's you know let's continue to get confidence corral opportunity to keep throwing it get him some rats but absolutely need to stop Alvin Kamara he's the only way they get back in this game it's what somebody stop this man mine Jameis. Oh, Jameis. You think every time he just... He drops back, he just... I think someone's down there. Jesus, man. How'd he got laced? Like, didn't he get his eyes fixed? Guess not. Like, maybe he's bad. Like, can't see shadows good? Like, the black uniform is throwing him off? Another great ball from Matt Corral. Gotta have it type play. Now, we might be kicking the shit out of the Saints, but it's definitely not because our offense is in any sort of rhythm. All right, run defense just sucks. Doesn't matter who's back there. Well, the good news is that they only move the ball when they run it. And if they continue to run it, the clock's just going to chew away and they won't have enough time to get back into the game. One would think, anyways, that'd be the case. Double runs. Okay, we got Chuba. It hasn't been a good day for Chuba. He's barely in the positive yardage. Eight carries, four yards. Try a throw here, maybe. What do we got? Terrence Marshall, Moore, McCaffrey, CMC. Let's see. Hit CMC on the run. Maybe you can get... Or just fucking sail it. Damn it, man. Oh. Come on. That, he's over 200 yards. Should have been a loss of five. Mine. Give me that. Fucking read that like a book. Let's go. <laughs> what a play. Clearly, that's where you know. Check down Winston over here. 
Roquan jumps. What's that? Pick three? Pick four the day I lost count. Just too easy. You gotta do a lazy throw like that. We're gonna punish you every day. Every day of the week, especially when we're wearing the all blacks. There we go. We get CMC out the backfield. That's a big game. That's how you throw to a running back. It's Cuba. Chuba. Another chance to Chuba train to get this first down and move the chains. It's gonna be close. We lost a yard somehow. Fourth and two. Let me go for it. Kick the field. Come on, coach. Let's be aggressive here. Perfect. Even suggest like the fake kick. You know, let Cam throw a tutty. Take the points. Mine. Oh, man. Joe Hayden. Even he's getting in. Come on. Come on, just stop throwing it. Wave the white flag. You have six turnovers. Feels like I'm playing my five-year-old right now, you know? Mine. Oh, man. That is pick number... Oh, shit. It's pick number six. Brian Burns is down again. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints are playing dirty now. Hopefully that is not bad. That is our pass rush. That is our pass rush going into the tunnel. Bruce shoulder. No, you know, let's take take his helmet away. He doesn't need to get back out there today. And we'll take that, man. Arguably our best performance, single game performance yet here in the Panthers franchise. As we get our third victory, we move to three and one. We're going to be first place in the division. And, you know, I mean, I still don't really feel that much more confident about our offense. And that's not a great thing. I mean, Matt Corral kind of carrying the bar that was set by, by Baker Mayfield last year. Where it's just like, all right, just be accurate. Don't turn the football over. Hand it off. I mean, it was tough running the ball. Averaging 2.5 and 2.7 yards per touch. 19 for Chuba because we just let Chuba kind of kill that game off there. So we didn't expose CMC to injury. But, I mean, DJ Moore got it going. He had some really good plays, a couple good throws, seven catches, 57 yards, a touchdown. I mean, CMC still got his over, did he get it? Yeah, 100 yards from scrimmage, which is good. Visca made a couple plays for us. But it's just the defense, man, the suffocating defense. Seven tackles, two TFLs, and a pick for Roquan. Gross Matos, Brian Burns at a TFL and a sack. Shaq Thompson, Keith Taylor, fumble, recovery for a touchdown. Touchdown, Taylor. Let's go. We had two picks, C.J. Henderson, two picks, J.C. Horn. Joe Hayden got involved as well as Rogue. That's probably my favorite, the Roquan one, because that was me. Just sick and tired of just all this check down bullshit. Ate that play alive. Stole it right off of Alvin Kamara's plate. As the Carolina Panthers host a bitter divisional rival and kick the shit out of him. 37-17. to 17. Got a couple nice starter upgrades. We have Subtle, our draft pick, up to a 75 at guard. Uh, happy that he is able to really make that transition into the guard spot with that hidden dev. And C.J. Henderson, two interceptions. Pump that into slot. He gets the plus two overall boost. Love seeing that. Plus three earners, one man coverage, and one speed. I mean, do we get the, does those defensive touchdowns count as the four? And it does not. I mean, I'm still confident. A win's a win. Absolutely. Entire team, 2,500 XP. That was huge. That 25. Look at all the players. We can upgrade. I mean, we got Ian Thomas right now. He's going blocking. He is, I, I, I think, genuinely one of the most impressive players. Ian Thomas just makes our run game work. So and he's not even like a blocker. Like you look at it, it was like a 60 blocking tight end. Keith Taylor, rightfully so, gets the upgrade. I mean, what do we do at free safety? Do we have like Charles Getter Johnson. I mean. Maybe we, maybe we ask Luke Keekley, can you can you help transition Chauncey to, to a linebacker role? I don't know. Um, we got Matt Corral, got an upgrade. We'll pump that into field, Jen. I'll try to make him a scheme fit. He's still young enough in his career. Why not make him and, and mold him to the perfect quarterback for this offense? Get the awareness boost and the short accuracy, which is nice. J.C. Horde continues just to be an absolute pick machine. We'll go right in the slot just because it kind of helps out. Both of the other archetypes there. We get acceleration, play rack, press, tackle. Gets an additional ability slot, which we can put in really a whole lot of options here. 
Let really me know which ones we need. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Again, how do we soup up JC Horn here a little bit? A uh, bunch of other upgrades to be had. I'll spend those in just a second. One thing I do want to do, at least entertain. Man, we got a, we got that safety spot. If we're going to let Keith continue to lock that up, and then we're going to explore other options for, for Chauncey Gunner Johnson. Xavier Woods at 79, 28 years old. Really too good. To just be sitting there. So I'm going to throw him on the trade block. Let's see next episode. Maybe what kind of offers come in. Maybe we use the trade funder. And just see if we can. You know. We can always be looking for an upgrade. You know. Look at this wide receiver. I, I take another wide receiver. In, in that room. You look on the defensive side of the ball. We could use. You know. Maybe more linebacking depth. Maybe. Draft picks. But to, like, there's a lot of different ways we could do it. I, I'll be interested to see what we can get from Xavier Woods. I just think we. We need to do something with that safety room. There's too much. Just too much. Let's see if we can, you know, take all those resources and see if we can disperse them to a different area by uh, a trade. But uh, we got a weekly award winner off that week four victory. It is J.C. Horn, four tackles, two interceptions, one of them a pick six, and he got credited with the forced fumble. I mean, is, you know, there's a legit argument to be made that J.C. Horn, pound for pound, out of everybody on this team, has been the most impactful player in this series. Do you agree with that? Like, is there, like, has it been, like, CMC? Because it's just a ridiculous usage last year. Is it me as a user god right now on defense having this uh, this team playing the way they are? But we got big, big-time game next episode as we take on the undefeated 4-0 Minnesota Vikings and Justin Jefferson. But this is how we're going to wrap up today's episode. Great game. I mean, anytime you start a game with a Keith Taylor touchdown, you know, that's, that's a good day. That is a great day. So thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Tomorrow, we have a Washington Commanders realistic rebuild. And the plan is Saturday, a NCAA rebuild. Sunday, a new episode of Pink Slips. Monday, we'll be back with the Carolina Panthers. So I will see you guys then. As always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Getting very close to 160,000 subscribers here on the channel. Leave a comment. Smash that like button. Helps out the channel. The YouTube robots appreciate that. And I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys back here in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Love you. Have a good one.